so we found this Harmony 12 string at a yard sale. It was buried deep in a shed and, well, this is kind of how it looked. The pit guard was still attached, but it was coming off and it was warped very badly, so we took it off. We're going to sand it out in a bit. We're going to, of course, replace the strings. And I noticed this yesterday, but the nut is both off-centered and chipping there at the end. So, here we go. It came with this Gibson case, and it looks clean now, but it was very, very dirty when we got it. What we did was we applied some soapy water to it, just to get the surface deep stuff, rinsed it off, and then we went ahead and got some WD-40 to get the deeper stuff. And the inside, the inside used to be just about as big of a mess as the inside was, but we got a vacuum, deeply cleaned it out as best we could, and now it's looking pretty great. So right now I've just got with me a paper towel, it's wet. I'm just wiping off the overall body. I don't know how much of that you can see, but that's a lot of dirt. So I'm going to keep doing that for a little bit. Yeah. Now we have gotten to a part where I made this all dusty. Why is it all dusty? Well, because this thing needed cleaned very bad. It's nice and shiny now. Well, at least it's nice and nice. Not sure what all the cracks are. I don't know if that's just built that way or if that's wear and tear. But either way, the color is definitely better. And I can throw that away now. yippee ki -yay. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this nut is chipped, especially on the far side. And it's very, very dirty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little instrument here, score it, and then just take it out. I made a video about this, and I'll post a link to it at the end. And it is all about replacing the nut. Unfortunately, I don't have the nut, so I'm going to have to buy it. That's why this is day one. All right, so I'm going to praise the Lord a little bit here. The nut's off. I did score it, yes, but it was completely super glued, so what I had to do was take a big old screwdriver, dig it in there and like twist it around that little bolt right there. Just twist it enough and this popped right out. Take that super glue. So I'm going to call it quits for the day. So basically what I've done is I've wiped off a lot of the dirt and excess, cleaned the fretboard and took out the strings, took out the nut. I call that a pretty good date for me. Once I buy the strings and another nut, I'll get to putting that on. I, of course, got to sand that down and sand off the pick guard, too, and I'll glue that back on. So, there we go.